That's what scares me from time to time, at least. That wasn't funny at all. Or scary. Give me that. I have a story that's neither nihilistic nor depressing. Every fool down in Foolville hated Halloween a lot. But the Grinch who lived just south of Foolville did not. The Grinch loved Halloween the whole Halloween season. Please don't ask why, we all quite know the reason. It may be because of the liquor and pumpkins. It may be perhaps from the candy and blumpkins. But I think it's quite clear, since he's surely no Scrooge, that his heart seems to persist two sizes too huge. There's no festive decor, he said quite appalled. It's Halloween tomorrow and no one's enthralled. The Grinch seemed concerned as he sipped on his beer. I must find a way to bring Halloween cheer. But whatever the reason, the Blumpkins or booze, he celebrated each year always loving the fools. I know what to do. The Grinch thought of a task. And he made a black coat with a Pennywise mask. He laughed and he belted. What holiday fun. With this coat and this mask, the scaring has just begun. You're a nice one, Mr. Grinch. You're as harmless as a fly. You're as sour as a pancake and as rotten as Taylor Swift, Mr. Grinch. You're a touch of cinnamon on a delicious apple pie. You're an angel, Mr. Grinch. You're as cuddly as soft dolls. Your heart is full of nutmeg. You've got sunshine in your balls, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between you and Keanu Reeves, I picked the one with sunshine in his balls. Then he frolicked and laughed with a smile most bright. He thought that the fools would be filled with a fright. He set up spiders and mummies, werewolves and rats, reapers and witches, yes, even black cats. The Grinch started to wonder what else to do now, when he heard a faint noise which sounded like a... He turned around quick and he saw a white cat. Small kitty Lou Fool was just a bit fat. She looked at the Grinch and said, Pennywise, why? Why are you trying to scare us fools? Why? But you know the old Grinch, joyful as can be, explained that, Scary wishes and monsters are filled with nothing but glee. And his words guaranteed that the fools would be fine, and soon both their worlds would be intertwined. My sweet little kitty, the fake Pennywise spoke. All of these decorations are just but a joke. Then Kitty Loofool, after now getting fed, trotted to sleep and lay in her bed. It was quarter past dawn, all the fools still asleep. All the fools hit the booze, their slumber run deep. They're soon to discern that Halloween has arrived, for all of these years their pleasure deprived. Is that a sound, Maxine? A hand to his ear. The noise that he heard didn't sound one of fear. This wasn't expected to hear the day after. The last thing he foresaw was a roaring of laughter. Confused for a minute, he stayed there in shock. He uttered a phrase. Foolville can suck my green cock! And what happened then? Well, in Foolville they state that the Grinch's big heart shrunk three times with hate. Then he took out a knife and for sure had a reason. That's when he decided it is now fool season. Dude, Halloween is great. Oh! He ran up to George, who was taking a nap. He couldn't harm one who's such a poor sack. Travis no, begged no, for forgiveness no, no. and was surely scared. The Grinch knew his life just wouldn't be spared. <laughs>
Oh, hi there. My name is Austin Smilin, and I'm the actor who played the Grinch in that last sketch. We just wanted you to know that it is never okay for a white man to wear a green face. Before we started filming, we had no idea there were green people out there in the world. So here's a list of people from the green community we'd like to personally apologize to. Have a safe Halloween.